tutorial, guys. In this video, we're going to show you how to shut down the U-Trips offense in Madden 22. What's good, guys? My name is Cody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. And like I said in today's video, we're talking about U-Trips defense, and we're going to be showing you a coverage defense out of the nickel 335 odd now if you have not already picked up my nickel 335 odd defensive ebook i would encourage you to do that it's the best defense of the game since the best pressure um in madden 22 deep in madden 22 defense is not easy by any uh stretch of the imagination and so anytime you can get a stop in this game is a win and so if you're looking for a defense that can help you do just that I would highly recommend the Nickel 335 Odd Defensive eBook. Again, there's a link in the description. It comes with video breakdowns as well as written setups for you um, and also team recommendations and things like that. The other thing I do want to let you know is that there is rumor that there could be a patch today. Please be aware that if you got the 335 Odd Guide or if you get it today, you will receive updates throughout the entire Madden 22 season, meaning that as the game gets patched, we are going to update the guide with different coverages, with different run defenses with different pressures if it's necessary so uh anyways just know that this is not something that you're going to buy and it's going to be out of date next week this is something that you're going to be able to it's going to last the season for you out of this specific formation and that being said i also want to let you know that the defensive guide is super intense as far as like uh it's just super in depth so there's a lot of content in it for you trying to really dive deep into how to shut down some of the best offenses in the community so that being said, we're going to show you how to shut down U-Trips today. And U-Trips is super, super effective this year. Uh, so the spacing in combined with the routes that you get uh, makes it one of the more difficult offenses, in my opinion, to stop in the game. So that being said, I want to show you one specific defense today, and we're going to use the Strong Safety Inside Package. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to give us a couple of unique little adjustments against the U-Trips that I'm going to tell you are super valuable. So we're going to use the Strong Safety Inside Package, and we're going to come out in the play uh, LB Cross 3 Show 2, but we're going to audible over to the Tampa 2 once we get out of the huddle. All right. So we're in LB Cross Show 2. As you can see, we get our middle linebacker over the center. This helps with run defense. It helps with a lot of different things within this defense. And we're just going to audible to the Tampa 2. Now, you'll also notice that against U-Trips, you actually get a decent alignment in terms of how this is going to work. So we're going to spread our line. We're going to crash our line out. Um, let me show you what it looks like to base align your coverage. You're going to notice that this cloud flat on the left actually goes into a very interesting position because he's not pressed up by any means. He's going to be backed off. And I honestly really like that. So these cloud flats, we're just going to baseline. And you see, we're just going to kind of back them off manually. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring these safeties down and we're going to put them in outside thirds. So as you see here, I got an outside. We get these new adjustments to the safeties. We can put them in outside thirds. And then what I like to do is take this guy, uh, Levante David, and put him in the middle third. Okay, so you're going to see he's going to do just that right there. The other thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could actually take Carlton Davis because we base line and put him in the middle third. If, for example, you wanted to user Levante David, you could user him down in this box right in here. And then what I would do is take that middle linebacker and put him in the middle read zone. I think middle read zones are probably the best zone this year um, in terms of the middle of the field. And then I love to bluff blitz my defensive end just like that. And then we're just gonna kind of use her uh, right over in this area. Okay, so that being said, I'm just going to show you kind of a base concept here out of this. And we're just going to kind of really highlight over here. As you see, the pressure is going to absolutely scream. And it's kind of a bim but don't break defense. Yes, they can take the flats. But the flats are really not the best component of the U-Trips offense. Whereas the gun bunch, you really have to be worried about the flats. It's not exactly true with U-Trips. Like, yes, they do have good flat routes, but they're not going to kill you. Okay, so these clouds, they're backed off. They're never going to get burned over the top because we have those outside thirds, and I'll show that in just a moment. But you'll see here, the other thing I really like about this is when you combine this middle third from the slot corner with a mid-read, the mid-read will deter the throw long enough for this guy to get back into the box. 
So let me show you kind of what this looks like. And again, I'm just going to, you can drop this guy into a three reg hook zone. You could also drop him into a, a vertical hook if you wanted to. I personally prefer the three reg hook. I think it does a little bit better of a job. Um, if they're running a lot of hitches, then I would definitely use a vertical hook. But anyway, so I'm using this guy right here. And now what I want to do is I just want to show you some vertical routes. So um, on this left side here, I'm going to streak this square receiver. I just want to show you what it looks like. You'll see that the outside thirds this year, the one thing that you can say about outside thirds is that they, if they're backed off like that, they actually do a decent job in terms of defending streaks. Um, that's just been my experience. So again, all we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line, crash our defensive line to the right. And then you don't have to baseline if you don't want to. So if you just want to come down and put these guys in, um, in outside thirds, you'll see this is, this is fine. You don't have to base align. It's not mandatory. The problem is if you don't base align, you'll notice that I can't, the adjustments to the slot corner, I can't put him in any, any of the adjustments I want to put him in, right? So what I would recommend is, and that's fine, I would just come over here and drop this guy into the middle third and then take this guy here, drop him into a three rec, and then now you're just using this left side. The beauty of this is we get really good pressure. We're only sending three people, but we're going to get really good pressure, okay? Um, let me make sure that guy's in a bluff blitz. So, again, we're just bluff blitzing that defensive end. But this is basically the coverage right here, okay? Now, let's show you um, Let's show you the play curl flats. So, curl flats here. You might have to kind of help and then poach and come back around. But as you can see, I mean, you can really find the ability to use or most of this stuff. Um, the other thing that I would tell you out of this is that not only are you going to be able to kind of lurk, but what you have to understand is you have to define where you're going to go. So you kind of set this base coverage up here. And then, like I said, you could move this guy over here if you wanted to, to give you a little bit more of an advantage if they were to, um, like if they were to run the ball. But again, I like doing this and then just kind of moving this guy here. I find this to be the most effective. So now let me show you another thing. So let's say that they kind of get, you know, they, they know that you're doing this. So they're going to try to fade the right side guy. Let me just show you this. See how the outside third goes and guards him? That's different this year. It, it hasn't been like that in the past. It's at least not that good. Um, this year, that's actually a really good way to play defense. So uh, this is my preferred way to kind of start out a game, especially if someone is running U-trips. Uh, I find that this is the best way to kind of get going. And then... One of the things that you will see from the U-trips is a lot of motion. So let me just show that real quick. So if I, so let's say for example, I go to Pat Sot out and I motion this guy because I'm trying to really manipulate that corner. Watch what happens to the square receiver. See how that outside third will take him? Very good defense. So you're going to be okay uh, with that stuff. You're not going to get killed is what I'm trying to get at. Um, you know, you're still going to have to deal with your flood concepts. I will say that. So, for example, let's say they go to the play scat. I just want to show this. This is one of the reasons why I like this defense. Because you'll find that these outside thirds, when they're dropped from the safety this year, they will they will play a little bit better than you would think um, as far as reacting to the ball and all that stuff. So let me just show this. And, again, we're just I'm just wanting to showcase a standard flood to the right side because that's obviously where we one of the key moments but look at what that cloud flat does takes that away and those cloud flats this year i will say this the cloud flats from a corner are really good they really are um where cover two was breaking down in the beginning of the year was the uh deep half zones were just terrible but when you basically what we're doing is we're turning this into a cover three um you know you can get this and, and we're really spacing out spacing out these guys um now one thing you can do is you can just kind of manually move this guy just a little bit and what you'll see happen it's not a huge deal because of the third is there but now let's say they run two streaks on that left side he'll actually be able to hang with both of them now you'll see here see see that right there and then they they can throw that but you know that that's not a huge I mean, that's not a huge problem because there's some things we could do around that. Obviously, just play, um, you know, you could, could just mix in LB cross one time. Uh, and by doing that, you're going to be able to solve the problem. I would tell you that I think it makes most sense to either user like this guy here 
over into this area um, just because I think this is going to give you the best bang for your buck in terms of coverage. And then what you can do is with this with this guy right here, you can do some things. Like I really think the three rec hook works pretty well uh, in terms of how it's going to defend the the U trips formation. That three rec hook will drop right over the middle into where the tight end's at. So now what you've got to do is you know you've got to really focus in on on this on this other side, but you're screaming heavy pressure uh, at them super fast. So. Anyways, that being said, this is kind of the, the, the format I've been using for U-Trips. You've got a couple different resources. You can certainly go to Mabel Coverage, Cover 4. Uh, cover 6 is a great coverage to go to uh, to mix it in. Just make sure you're putting that guy in a mid-read and then drop that defensive end on the right side into a 3 rec. I find that to be the most effective way to deal with this. Um, and what you'll see is that the mid-read, here's why I like this so much. One of the favorite routes of U trips and one of the best routes of U trips, in my opinion, is basically this concept right here. Okay, where they, I mean, it's just this is simple, but watch the post route. So we've got a mid read out there, watch the post route. You'll see here that mid read drops right on the post route and takes it, and then we get match coverage help over the top. So the reason I like that is because now I don't have to personally go user that. Um, similar si similar defense to the Tampa 2. So both defenses will help you shut this down. But this is kind of a, a little bit of a beginner's format for how you would defend something like this. Again, you know, every formation is different in terms of defense. But there are some key underlying components. You need to be able to stop four verticals. You need to be able to stop post routes, uh, crossing routes, things like that. And so I would start with cover two. It stops a lot of stuff. Uh, it stops that corner route. It stops some post routes. It'll, it'll shut down... Um, some crossing routes, especially from U trips. So I would start out with that, and then I would kind of branch into some of these other coverages that are, you can find in our defensive guide. We really break them down a little bit more in depth over there. So if you want to get the full three through five odd defense, I, again, I would encourage you to uh, just check out my defensive guide. There's a link in the description of this video that'll take you right over to the website, and we'll get you all squared away with the defense. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get that defensive ebook, the link is in the description.